Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave with another Princess Cruise Lines video. And actually it's not just another one. This is the whole reason, this video is the whole reason we went to Italy earlier this year when we went. Because in addition to telling stories about the engineering of cruise ships, we were present for the graduation of the Sun Princess from the first phase of its construction in the dry dock to its second phase of construction in the water. Yeah, we were present the first time the Sun Princess kissed water which was amazing. It's called the float out. It's really dramatic. And well, let's just cut to me talking about it on the dock. So after months and months of construction, today is the day that the ship floats out. So we're heading down to the stern where this ship will touch seawater for its first time. Sinistra libera. There it is. This is it. This is the business end of the dry dock. This whole platform here is actually the door and they are letting water, seawater, through the door and this is the moment seawater touches the Sun Princess for the very first time. I've spent a lot of time in dry docks and I have never seen one filling. This is actually quite thrilling. It's going to take hours and hours and hours until this reaches sea level and then the door, which is itself a boat, is going to move out of the way and the Sun Princess will be tugged to its next location where they'll finish it over the next few months. We are here and it is, sorry, I'm having trouble talking because I'm so excited. We are in for a treat. The float out of the Sun Princess was supposed to happen at around four o'clock in the morning because of the various things they had to go through to check and make sure it was all good. But there were a couple delays and the float out is happening right now. So we get to be here for it. These two tugboats are here to guide the Sun Princess to its next berth where they'll spend the next 10 months finishing it. And Captain Armand is on the bridge shepherding this baby to its next birth. It's so exciting. You can, you can actually feel it among everyone around here that there's a real level of like electricity in the air. Tell me what this is. Oh, this is the wood block. It, it seems a, sim a simple wood block, but yeah. in reality it's a very important symbol for the shipyard. This is the wood block where the Madrina cut the cord during the bottle ceremony at the launching. And so this is all the cords that have been cut in the history of the shipyard? Yes, this represents the history of the shipyard. So we can see all the vessels that the, have been launched in the shipyard. The names and the date. That is incredible. So today is the float out. Yes, today is the float out. Do you still get emotional about the float out of a new ship? Yes, yes. Always we are very, very emo emotional about this, uh, this ceremony. It represents a very important milestone for the shipyard. It represents the completion of an important phase of the shipbuilding construction. It represents the completion of the all uh, mounting activity. Now the ship is uh, touching the sea and uh, she is moved out into the outfitting key to be completed in 10 months. In 10 months. And you get your dry dock back for another boat. Absolutely. For another ship, excuse In me. one week time, we will start another ship. In one week? Yeah. So I look at this and the amount of material, and I can't even conceive of how all this material gets through your gate in 10 months, let alone becomes a ship. Yeah. Please consider that on a daily basis, we, uh, in the shipyard, more or less 80 trucks is entering to deliver the material. Every single day? trucks every single day. Day or night, rain or shine? Yeah. We are very proud of what we are doing. We, we, we see uh, the, our uh, project starting from the first uh, uh, steel cutted till to the key to the captain. <laughs> it's really amazing. Wow. 
I, and the whole history is here in this beautiful object. <laughs> yes. This is amazing. I, I love objects with history, with the narrative. We really appreciate your generosity and hospitality in letting us come and see this incredible construction. It really is inspiring. You are welcome. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. The excitement around here is super palpable and it's important to remember this is not just the largest ship that's ever been made in this shipyard, this is the largest cruise ship that's ever been made in Italy. This is a really, really amazing moment. Oh, it's moving. Okay, I'll let you get back to filming. Holy cow. So the door to the dry dock is now being floated out and the two tugboats are working in tandem to move it into its final position. Here's the thing I'm pretty sure I understand about this situation. That door, it's only titularly a boat, but it's still quite an unstable structure and there's a bunch of people on that. And everybody's safety is paramount here, so I'm positive that the captains of these two tugboats have a perfect situational awareness about where each is and how this is all laying out. And this is really, really cool coordination to achieve. Once they get that in position, then apparently these two big tugs over here are gonna come in and help the Sun Princess move out into the water. Well, the two tugs we saw earlier are the small ones. Resolute and Gladiator, the two large tugboats, are now out. And we had a delay of a couple of hours because the wind had to die down, and it has. And so, I'm not exactly sure how this will play out, but tugging is now happening. Yep. One thing that's really beautiful is how slow and methodical this process is. If there's one thing I learned about working on the water on Mythbusters is that you have to go much slower. Water is a totally different game, and just watching, watching all this happen very carefully is really quite beautiful. It's a real coordination. So that roller there at the end of the platform, apparently what all these guys are waiting for is for the ship to clear that last roller and then make it out of the dock. It is the moments when the ship is the most vulnerable because it doesn't have anything holding it over here. So this is what everyone is waiting for and the wind is absolutely perfect. It is an ideal set of conditions for this, but they're all waiting for that moment when it clears that and gets out of the dry dock. Then they know their job is done. The thing to remember is even though it is moving at a literal snail's pace, like your grandmother can walk faster than this boat is moving, it is so heavy and it is so large, it still has a tremendous amount of momentum, even at this speed. And she's clearing the dry dock. This is an amazing and momentous moment in her life. From a sketch on a cocktail napkin five, six years ago, the first steel being laid 10 months ago, and she's now on the water. It's really amazing.